Hello, Tom Zarenskis here again, and I want to talk about stressed syllables in U.S. English. Uh, it's a true spell phonetics analysis, and we're again taking the 5,000 top words that you find in newspapers and magazines. And of these 5,000 words, we add up the instances. And the words are in this column, the instances in this are in this column. And you see here, double L, double T, double S. Those are the phonetic versions of the consonants where a double consonant in, in, indicates in true spell a stressed syllable other than the first. And that is interesting because if you just search on all the doubles, you can find all the stressed syllables other than the first. And here's what we found. We counted up all of these. And in the top 5,000 words, you had 1,214,000 uh, uh, instances of a stressed syllable word out of uh, the total 15.4 million total instances for the 5,000 words. And the way that works is the w number one most popular word is the, and that had a million instances in itself. So we're counting words and we're counting instances, and look here, uh, we have 8% of the words and that of all the instances have stress other than the first syllable. That's what this data indicates. But it's 24% of the words when you just look at the words themselves. Because the difference is that the uh, single syllable words are used far more frequently. And so uh, this actually points that out. Here we have the syllables in a word and the stress on the syllable. And you see that, wow. We got about 77% of the words have one syllable. For the two syllable words, stress is on the first syllable. Uh, that is 12% of the total. So, Uh, and then the second syllable is on the 4% of so If you add those together, maybe I should have done that, it would be 89% uh, of the words are either have stress, are one syllable words, or have the stress on the first syllable. And this is what it adds up to. And here are the totals up to the total of instances. So now we know something about the words that we see on a page. About 77% of them will be single syllable words and 12% will be words that have stress on the first syllable. And we know that uh, this is saying that, uh, what is it saying? That only about 8% will have stress on other than the first syllable interesting stress analysis.